All right. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Master Tutorials, where you can practice literacy commits. Now, we are still doing our visual solution in question 16. That is question 4 in this paper. So, for a certain intersecting a line, it is known that there are no points. There are no points on the intersection. If the radius r is equal to the distance of the line passing through the center to a point, so which means that the radius is equal to the length of CD. So now, A should be false. The answer is false. Why am I saying that? Let's see. We have a circle. Of we have the same center to be AB. Now, if the radius, this is the radius, R, if it is equal to the length So this one is 90 degrees Now, I can see that this one is the tangent line, right? Then definitely there is a point here, point E, X, Y, right? And this guy, from the CP this guy is the normal line, so I have the tangent line, the tangent line, then my normal line. So you can say that the radius, which is the length of C, the radius R is equal to the length of let's say, okay, let me use here C D. So it's equal to the length of C D. If this thing happens here, geometry. There is a point of what? Intersection, which means that this line touches the circle at one point. Only so there is a point of intersection. So you cannot say that there are no points. Here yeah, there is a point. There is one point what? only here, that's the intersection. Alright. So the answer is false. The answer is false. So there is a point of intersection here. Let's move on to question 17. Alright, so let's see question 17. The equation of a circle satisfies the following properties. I. The coefficient of x and y are equal I, I. There is no term in x, y, I, I, I. The degrees of expressions in x and y are 2. A, 2, B, False. So now let's see. I. Let's just find I. The equations of x and y are equal. So let's see the general equation of the circle x squared plus y squared plus 2jx plus 2fy is equal to 0. So we are saying the equations of x and y are equal. This one is not true. It's not true. There is no term in x, y. That's true. We don't have x, y, and the degrees of expressions in x and y are 2. So that's correct. So only i, i, and i, i, i satisfies the following properties. So it is i, i, and i, 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 not all the properties. So the answer is false. The answer is false. Let's proceed to question 18. All right, let's see question 18. So question 18 on your question paper is question 20. So for a circle intersecting a line, it is known that there are two distinct points of the intersection. If the radius r is greater than the distance of the line passing through the center to the point, A true, B false. So we are saying that if the radius r greater than the distance. So we can see that the radius r is greater than the distance of the CP. So let's see. Let's draw the circle here. So we are saying that the radius, this guy, that's r. So you can see that's the center. So I can get this guy here. So I get my P here. Let's see here. So you can 
can see that the length from C to P, see the length and see the radius, the length from the radius. You can see that the radius length is greater than it. CP. The radius, the length of the radius is greater than it, the length from C. So now we can say that for a circle intersecting a line, it is known that there are two distinct points, and that is true. There are two distinct points, which is very, very trivial. Let's move on to question 19. Alright, use the following information to answer question 19 and 20. The point P divides the line segment AB joining the point A to 1 and B, like 3 and 6, right? In the ratio 2 is to 3. Question 19, find point P, X, Y, A, 3, 0, B, negative 3, 0, C, 0, 2, then D, 0, 3. So now let's see how this we can solve it. Question. Now, let me tell you that it is internal or external. Now, you have to, to wait to know that this is an internal division, this is an external division, depending on the ratio you know. So, now let's see the ratio 2 is to 3. That's a positive ratio. So, then that means it is what? Internal division. So, I have my lambda here to 2 and here to 3. So, my point A, which is 2, and then my point B, negative 3, 6. My 2 is to 3, that's the ratio which is lambda is to here. So, I can say that lambda equals 2, here equals 3. Now, we have a line joining the point together. So we have this guy to my lambda equals 2 and equals 3. So let's see point P, X, Y. So this is what we are about to do. So my point P, X, Y equals to lambda X2 plus X1 divided by 2, then lambda y is 3 plus 3, y1 divided by 2. So I have my point P, X, Y, and B equal to my lambda, which is 2, times my X2, so X1, Y1, X2, Y2. My X2 is negative 3 plus my mu. S3, my X1, S2 divided by 2, then my lambda here is my Y2 is 6 plus my mu is 3 times my Y1, S1 divided by 2. So I have point E, X, Y, B. Two times negative three or three negative six plus six divided by two, two six plus four plus three divided by two. So we have this. All right, so sorry for the mistake. <laughs> I thought we were doing the midpoint. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I have lambda x2 plus mu x1 divided by Lambda plus mu what's divided by 2, lambda y2 plus mu y1 divided by lambda plus mu. So we have lambda to 2 mu to 3, and find for the sum, which is what 25 and 5. So my point E, x, y equal to 0 divided by 5, 15 divided by 5. Zero three. So my answer will be option D. Option D for job. Option D for job. So we are using the same preamble to solve question twenty.
So let's proceed. Question 20. Does P lie on the line x minus 5y plus 15 equals 0? So now let's see. We have our point P to be 0, 3. Right. So point P is 0, 3. Don't forget that this one is x is equals 1. So we just substitute x and y respectively into the roots, into the equation of the line. Get the left hand side to be equal to zero, which is the right hand side. Then, truly, our point P lie on this line. So now let's proceed. So I have my A is being equal to zero and my B. We substitute x minus y plus fifteen equals zero. So my Zero minus five times three plus fifteen is zero. Zero minus five three three fifteen plus fifteen equals zero. Zero minus fifteen plus fifteen. Fifteen plus fifteen equals zero. Negative fifteen plus fifteen now zero three equals zero. Then truly, truly, point B lie on the line. X minus 5y plus 15 equals 0. So the answer is option A, which is true. Alright, now we've come to an end of the quiz. One solution. Do well sit down all your friends, your siblings, all of them to come and watch. Master tutorials where mathematics and literacy begins.